another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching the originals this is episode two of season one hopefully guys have enjoyed the first episode actually you guys did enjoy the first episode i have to say thank you so much for everybody supporting the channel and showing love you know we've got lots of new people coming and visiting it we been up posting the vampire diaries now for like three months i have no problem with that I, I love the show i can't wait to keep watching it that is going to be on the channel as well and it's going to be on the patreon every day so you can go over there and uh, subscribe and get those episodes as well as you want to watch today's episode you're welcome it is in the description below it is free just check it out but i'm so used to saying welcome to the vampire diaries that it was nerve-wracking posting this series because i didn't know how it would go down even though many people obviously was bigging it up and you guys hardcore vampire diary universe the original universe was telling me how good it is and i thoroughly thoroughly cannot wait to see the characters progress and uh, to see how it plays out but the interesting thing that played out in episode one was elijah got daggered instantly well not instantly but in the first episode klaus said look as he took him out he said look i've got to do this you know the only way that i could take marcel down is i've got to do it myself um and it is true what klaus says he sticks to everything that he says pretty much he's always said that love gets in the way and that is everybody's downfall well he can't have that he can't have a distraction he can't get love he can't get his emotions in the way he's got to focus on himself and taking um taking marcel down now Marcel's got something against the witches. He, this is what Klaus wants to find out. What is the hold? What has he got? How is he stopping them from doing uh, ma uh, magic in the quarter? I think that's what they call uh, the place that they live. And because uh, the, the witches, let's be honest, the shit scared of him, mate. Every time they see him, they run off. They, he killed um, Anne Devereaux, I think she was called. Left the body just lay on the floor. When they come to take her to put her in a resting place, he said no witch can truly be in the resting place until they get uh, put in the cemetery. That is pretty much where he was taking him. He said, look, did I give you permission to take that body away? No, I don't think I did, mate. And I'm going to take it with me until you guys tell me what plans you have got with Klaus and the hybrid and the originals coming back into town. So he's displaying his dominance. We later got a, uh, like a scene with him. He seems like he's got a witch um, captured, but she's not being suffered. She seems to be well, uh, well protected. But what is her role in this? He said as well. She was saying, look, she don't want anything to happen to Marcel. Marcel was like, it doesn't matter how strong you are, mate. Then nothing's going to happen to me, pretty much. I took it as if he was to say that he feels like he's stronger than Elijah and Klaus and Rebecca. And um, yeah, he they keep saying to him that how much has your confidence grew that's what uh, elijah said to him and that's kind of what klaus said to him when we seen him in uh, season four episode 20 he was saying look when i left mate, you was you was nothing and now you've rolled a kingdom up mate you are the king as you say and he wants to take the throne now klaus but elijah was saying to him as well like when they met each other in that restaurant that how much he has gained in confidence and how much that he's gone from a timid person to a person that he thinks that he's a ruler every time he stands up the whole like little posse stand up as well and i was saying it'd be fascinating to see klaus once he starts going after marcel or trying to dig the information he wants to take over new orleans he said that he wants what uh, he's got is we've seen klaus dominate as an independent and getting the werewolves on his side but they've quickly gone they said that marcel was sight was sight to him um at first when he was first in new orleans and now obviously we're coming around here i want to see klaus gain the throne and be a person that sits on the top and rules down everyone underneath his path like works for him that would be fascinating to me like i said rebecca's not come yet she's still taking the piss in i'm not coming to him he's dagging me too many times i'm not going to trust him and uh, well it proved that right because straight away he took elijah out but Haley's in it she is having klaus's kid i said how fast did the the, the werewolves uh, pregnancies lasted it are they rapidly accelerated or is it going to be like nine months long and if it is then marcel's going to find out and he's probably going to come after her because if he knows that there's going to be more breeding then he won't want them out around new orleans so it's very interesting there's loads of stuff going on i can't wait i'm really excited if you guys are too please smash the like and the button it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new thank you for clicking on my video and as always let's jump in to today's episode <laughs> Types and flavors from all over the country come here to party. Some are just looking for fun, so we invite them into my home and we give it to them. I'm guessing they're marks then, for fresh blood. At the stroke of midnight. This is how I keep my guys happy. Got them working hard trying to earn one of these daylight rings. They deserve to blow off a little steam. What about the victims? Can't kill them all. Too many folks go missing. Tourism drops. Six of our guys were killed in the bar outside of the quarter. No one saw who. 
Get in there, mate. She's one of my favourite characters. Not answering your phone is part of your clever plan to get me back. Well done. Jack and Erin Haley are going to become best buds. Who the hell are you? The bags are in the car. Get them, will you? <laughs> Hello. That werewolf girl my brother Klaus knocked up. You have your brother's manners. And his temper, too. Where's Elijah? Oh, one minute he was here making epic promises about protecting me. Klaus told me he bailed. Klaus has done something dastardly, and Klaus like, Klaus! Narcissistic back! I assume the six dead vampires were your doing. So sorry, were they Get friends in of there, yours? mate. I like that. I have Marcel. He fancies himself the king of the quarter now, and he has these rules about killing vampires. Elijah doesn't Welsh on deals. What did you do to him? He's on holiday. We're taking a long autumn nap. You remember this house as well as I. I remember everything. Oh, something's happened to me. That was a sick flashback. I remember finding a moment of affection with the governor's son. Nicholas, there is no hope for you, is there? Mel and I are in love. Please let me turn him. If we turned every man you dropped your knickers for, no bloody <laughs> food. <laughs> oh, he's just killed him. Oh, he's not been asked. Mal, where was he? I tell you what, the transitions are f oh, clapping me. I'm loving it. Like they've done some smooth transitions in the first two episodes. It's just he's never changed, as he? he doesn't care about anybody. She declared the love for him. Man, I love him. Can I turn him? Second later, guys killed him. Literally, just because he stood up to him and told him to respect her, pretty much. He literally does not care. Good enough for you. No one was ever good enough for me, Nick. You made sure of that. Not for another drink with Marcel. Marcel has somehow found a way to control the entirety of witches in the quarter, and I aim to uncover the how. So he has got his own oh, little plan. Welcome home. I hope he doesn't dagger Rebecca. I'm going to search this house inch by inch until I find what my evil brother has done to my good one. You're helping. You think Klaus killed him? We can't be killed, silly girl. He has a set of mystical silver daggers. One in the heart sends us into a deep slumber. He keeps your coffin on standby. He likes to be prepared for when his family members inevitably <laughs> disappoint him. Witches have put some sort of hex on me. Do they kill me? Well, knowing Klaus, he's planning a box for you the second you give birth. You best find a way to break that hex and run. Trying to scare me? I had nothing to do with the attack on your guys last night. Sophie Devereaux. Know who I am? I know. Then you know we need to talk. To locate a spell, locate the dagger, locate Elijah. Can't use magic. That's smarter. Marcel's rules. What do you think I'm going to do to you if you don't give me what I want? What you do to me, you do to Haley. Who? <laughs> well, luckily for you, Elijah seems to care about her. How did Marcel get so bloody powerful anyway? The how isn't relevant. I'll tell you what's not bloody relevant. Coven of witches who can't do magic. I'm here for Elijah. The instant I find him, I'm gone. Now he's missing, probably at the hands of Klaus himself. You don't understand. Marcel is not just some guy that Klaus turned into a vampire. I loved him like a son. Oh. What is your name? Mama wouldn't name me till I turned 10. Rob Marcellus, the god of war. No, oh, man, I'm sick. Perhaps there is hope for our brother after all. Two was the bastard child of a man who saw him as nothing but a beast. And that's pretty interesting, that. Do you know what i got to say, man? Like, how that shit was ever... <sighs> how that was ever normal is fucking mental. Like, literally. Like, honestly, I can't... Um, it's, you don't need me to say how bad it is. I just don't understand that anybody is treated differently just for just... Who they are. Like, it's baffling. Um... And it's really nice that Klaus has picked him up and he's seen, obviously, a totally different context of why they, they're both being punished, technically. Um, he survived himself and he's going around. It would have been so good if he's done that to more people than Marcel. Obviously, it's only just being introduced. But imagine if he'd done that and actually saved people. Gone around people in distress getting abused and he's going around and bigs them up, gets them gives him a life, gives him a purpose. Look at Marcel. So that is the thing that like, these keep saying, all of them, I think Rebecca, Klaus and Elijah have all said, mate, how the hell has Marcel got from being this guy here that we last seen 100 years ago to this guy here who's literally dominating what has happened in this period? Now, it, they keep reiterating he has got some sort of knowledge and where and when the witches do magic and i am saying it is that person that he's got in that house who's who is not chained up and he's not abusing is it his girlfriend you know that would be a good twist but i think he's using a drawing something from her and she can she must be strong and and be able to tell like where stuff is going on but yeah uh so that is interesting the backstory then from marcel klaus was the one that actually gave him his name i actually really like it it means warrior all you've done is bring back together two long lost souls the bartender. Uh, 
pining over her when you should be eating her. The coroner called. Got my number in case any dead tourists show up. Excuse me, love. Um, keep his mind off a girl. He tells me she's a queen fit for a king. Oh, he's talking about himself again. Be a nice guy. Uh, how about tonight? Mm. I'll meet you right here. Didn't really focus on Klaus's face then, and I'm not sure that it was meant to be part of the storyline or whatever, but I seen a little bit of disappointment in his face that she actually acknowledged that she might go there with him when it's Klaus the one that's trying to drop in the lines when he's saying the nice things, that he's trying to show his intent. And maybe that's another alpha move. He's showing it passively, like he's just saying, eh, and then he wins it that way and shows that he's still in charge. Kind of like when he give Caroline the bracelet, yeah, after Thinger, Tyler gave her the bracelet. His was better. He didn't really do anything different. He just done the same approach, but in a better way. I need one teeny tiny little herb. Crushed aconite flower. We're going to kill a wolf? Just a little one. Cut it with some weed. A few drops and some hot tea. Oh, Marcel, there's a werewolf in the quarter. Welcome to the land of the newly dead. I trust you filled them in. I just lost six night walkers. I got holes to fill. Hunger for human blood. Drink it, you're a vampire. Don't, you die. Cute dorky girl, a gay best friend. Dealer's choice. Oh, it's going to one of it. This coin gets to live forever. The other one died. Damn, careful! I said damn! <laughs> Oh, he wants loyalty. Got a thing about people who betray their own friends. Oh, that was good, man. That was good. I was going to say, boom, mate. I'm having that. <laughs> Literally. If it was me or someone else, I'm fucking taking it if I knew I was dying. But uh, turns out I would have died anyway. I love that analogy. Literally, picking out what the, the more loyal people, good stuff. He's interested, Marcel. Counter parry. I'm gonna marry you someday. Oh, I imagine. I'm gonna marry someone who couldn't best me in a jewel. He's beautiful, though, man. I really think Becca's beautiful. <laughs> oh, he was together. No, they wasn't together. They wanted it to. Oh, shit. So, he hadn't turned yet, I'm assuming. Because I'm guessing when you turn, you stop at Ejin, and this is where they all turn. So let, they let this Marcel grow old and then he turned it. I guess who turned him? Yeah, I'd like to know that, actually. He's still not turned yet. They definitely had a thing for each other. Interesting. They mustn't have done it from Klaus as well because it's in fear of what he would say. Maybe Rebecca's the one that changes his mind when he drops down. He's easier. He might change like who he is or just get flashbacks and want to be her again. Rebecca maybe Michelson. Maybe not. Maybe not. I thought you were dead. You never look back to find out. There's nothing going on between us, I swear it. Give me the privilege of honesty or that will cease to be the case. She is my family. I have begged you to turn me into a vampire. And I told you I will turn you when you're ready. You go near Rebecca again and you never will be. Oh, you're still God. scared of him. If I find out you know where Elijah is, you needn't fear Klaus. Fucking get in there. It's nice seeing you. It's like two people wanted to be together and Klaus got in the way and stopped it. Why don't you tell me your sister's back in town? <laughs> Only that she's grown considerably more insane. It was her who killed my guys. Doubtful. Yeah. Someone saw a werewolf in Beyondville Park. Bring me back its head. Sister in line. Greater chance of draining the Mississippi with a straw. They can't control each other. None of them can. Come on, Haley. I'll be disappointed, Haley, if you do. Yeah, well done. Did you? Ah! 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 I do hate bad manners. Part of the Michaelsons now, mate. This I had a plan. Leave him! If I hadn't overheard this up bragging about werewolf heads, everyone here would be screwed. Elijah made a deal to protect your child. You obviously don't give a damn. What have you done to honor it? I have done everything. From day one, he's had his vampires ingest toxic vein. We needed a spy. This so is I fucking sick. Day zero and got there first. New recruits. So I made the new one mine. Now let's have a little chat. That is sick. But we all know the real way to a man is through his heart. So, my mate Marcel. Charming, sexy. He's a bad boy, right? Like you. And right now I am good in my life, not someone who's... Surgically wounded. Damaged ones. They're not good, at least not for me. I need you to tell me where he goes. I'm gonna drain him of the vein so that he can explain to Marcel why he lost three more vampires. What were you doing? In the bloody French Quarter in the first place. Answer me! I was buying poison. <laughs> Nick, pregnant for God's sake! All of this bluster about not wanting the child, and then the second she tells you she's ready to get rid of it, it's okay to care. Got intense, rapid, didn't it? I gave Elijah to Marcel. Bad enough, one original returned to town, but two, I gave him a peace offering. Gain Marcel's trust, dismantle his empire, honor Elijah's wish. Shooting that plan, the only way I know how. Don't like it, just the door. 
It is. These, are, these, man. Honestly, I've got to say, right. Underrated actors. These. I don't. I've never seen them in any anything else, right? And this was out like ten years ago as well. So like, I would have expected them to just bang, bang, bang in different stuff. They're so good. Like every time they're together. Not just these. Like every time they're in a scene, they're always crying. Emotion. You feel it. Like, you, uh, like I'm not saying Haley's a bad actor. When you look at, like, Hayley being scared and he's being scared and, and sad, like, these, all the face, all the eyes are all watery. Klaus is absolutely sick at it, honestly. He's so good. Like, he goes from being so angry and shouting to grabbing you and being serious to being vulnerable and, like, emotion. Like, he's so good. I, I think he's one of the most underrated actors that I've seen. Man. I think he's great. He's actually so good. And... Trust in Klaus, mate. In Klaus, we trust. That should be a slogan on a t-shirt, mate. Literally, in Klaus, we trust. Because he's always got a plan. When has his plans, yeah, never been executed? If you think about it, has he failed in anything? He's always, yeah, he might have failed in an attempt, right? But he's got a second attempt. So he still plan, still succeeds. Do you know what I mean? When he went and got, he, he, he took Caroline and he took Tyler. Well, it doesn't matter, mate. He took Jenner and he took Jules. He's got a second plan. He's always one step ahead. He knows the end game. He knows he's what he needs to do, and he'll execute it. Don't matter who's in his way. Elena, Tyler, Caroline, you know, Elijah, Rebecca, Daggard, everyone. Literally, he's not bothered. He's great. And peace offering is a definite good thing to do. I love the fact that he's took his new his new vampire. He's compelled him, and then he's gone after the barmaid. Compelled her. He's getting. He's dabbling. He's getting his own little. You know, like, hands in all the pies. He's waiting for the information to come. And now he's going to get this guy. Find out information, send him back. I'm loving it. Also, Haley's been around loads of family conversations with these. She must start to realise that family is everything. I know you don't know me very well. I appreciate what you did in there. What is it with you two? Even when you hate him, you still love him. Emil wasn't the only boyfriend of mine that Klaus killed. He did it again and again. Love is what a weakness. He That's what it is. Me. No one was ever good enough for his little sister. Until one day someone was. <laughs> My brother will kill you. And I'll die smiling. <laughs> That's a good answer. Did I not warn you? He's Tim. You cannot kill him. When's he gonna turn him out? Oh, that is mad. He's sick of it. That was a good twist. I didn't expect that to happen then. Oh, she's took the daggers. A couple of antique steak knives were the only thing stopping you from getting Elijah. Here you go. That's interesting, that, isn't it? Extend the friendship, mate, literally. Extra points for flair. And the night's just started. Lie to me. Oh, Wait, she's ruined his plan. Hello to you too. Tell me where he is or I will kill you. No, you won't. You'll kill her. <laughs> what the hell are you people? Then just know that I will make it up to you. I hope that compulsion just works because Rebecca put the plan up in a way. Oh, he's talking to the witches. Davina, come on out, sweetheart. Come in. At least he's getting undagged in episode two. I wouldn't Come do on. that. She's an old one, isn't she? Doesn't seem very nice. She can be. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> wait. Who's this girl, right? She looks well young. Yeah, she is fucking strong, mate. She's like Bonnie. Uh, they didn't undagger Elijah. I was literally buzzing like, yes, he's been undaggered after in episode two. I'm not going to have to wait. And then boom, mate. Did she use her powers to put the dagger back in him? Like, literally. Um, and then why would um, what's his name, Marcel? Why would he take her there and show him that, like, show her that she's got a witch on on his side? Like, is that some sort of power that he's trying to display? That you know, come after me and I've got people myself, or like literally, I'm just trying to figure out like why would he put those cards on the table? That didn't have to be seen. He didn't have to show yeah that she's on his side. But this girl's interesting, mate. So she's definitely, I think she's the reason why then that the people can't do magic around. Like, he's using her. She's too strong. And she can sense it when someone's doing something. It's about time I was bored waiting. You bastard. <laughs> what day is it? It's 1887. You've been daggered for 52 years. And don't worry about Marcel. He could choose to undagger you or turn him instead. He wouldn't do that to me. Ah, oh, mate, in, in this context, she can't really blame him, man. The guy's literally, he's always wanted to be a vampire in terms of what he said at the start. He's begging Klaus. Um, and, yeah, if he truly loves her, you know, 
it, it'll get her. If you, like I say, he can't die. I mean, he can die, but there's a tiny bit that he can't die. And he'd probably take that for a lifetime of trying to get her back than just die as a human. Oh, and now here he is. You were out for quite a while. I'm glad you two finally got to meet. It's my old room. It's mine now. Davina's mine and Elijah's mine until I feel like giving him back. But the interesting thing is I am loving the confidence in him, man. He's threatening them all and he's adamant everything's his and I do like it. I didn't use it. I barely sleep all night. This house is like a freaking swamp sauna. What stopped you? She wants to find me herself. My birth parents gave me up and my adopted parents kicked me out. I realized I wouldn't let anyone hurt it. We've learned to fight when we're backed into a corner. Oh, well, we're backed into a corner now. It's no, they like fight. it. Loved each other like family. What happened? I made Marcel everything that he is. We believed Marcel was killed. We each mourned him. Now he is living in our home. Let him stamps everywhere. It's a Michelson. It's a Michelson. I want it all back. And that's exactly what I'll do. I'll have someone see you to the air conditioning. The girl, Cammy, she's the key. I got to see the secret weapon of his that you've been going on about. What is it? <laughs> it's not a what, it's a who. She's not just any witch, she's something I've never seen before. She wiped my memory of the location. Marcel possesses a weapon bigger and more powerful than an original. Well, I need to ask you for a favor. I'm gonna need you to figure out how we kill an original. God, I'm not gonna lie, man. I have fucking got goosebumps. Like, it's a different sort of vibe. It is. It's different vibes than the Vampire Diaries. It's like the same... Ah, how do you explain it? It's like the same intensity, like, and it's the same people that you know and love, and the shows run the same. But then it's like, it's just totally different. The one, one was love. One, one show is pretty much about love. This show is about taking back what's yours. Does that make sense? Like, that's all I can, the way I can explain it. This one, The Vampire Diaries, is about school, drama, romance, and love. This one's about, this is mine, and you've took it, you've built it, You what what is mine, you've took in my absence, you're portraying it as your own, you're marking it, you're marking it with the M for Marcel, when you actually just rub it in our face that it's the Michaelsons, you know, this is mine, and then the other guy's like, no chance that's yours, it is mine, and then it's like, I'm taking it back, and he's like, no you're not, and it's like, boom, 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 there's episodes, so as I was just saying there, in the conclusion of the, the episode, as soon as it finished, I feel like it is similar to the Vampire Diaries, but in totally different ways, this one seems a more mature, I'm not saying the Vampire Diaries is immature, but the Vampire Diaries is more of a, a love sort of thing between Elaine and Stefan and Damon, and then obviously you got Caroline and Tyler, it's just a little triangles like that, where over here, it seems like it's more just predominantly, this is mine, this was mine, and now it's yours, I want it back, he's like, you're not having it back, I built it up, he's like, no you haven't, I built you, and I'm taking what's rightfully mine, because, you know, Klaus and the originals, they are the biggest and the baddest and they are immortal and they do rub that in everyone's face. Now, I'm liking the fact that Marcel, no matter what's happening, yeah, he's adamant that this is all his stuff. He keeps saying, this is mine. This is my city. This is my town. These are my people. These are my rules. This is my bar. We party here because I decide. I get the new blood. We come in. We stamp them. 12 o'clock, we feed, you know, next day, we see how many's left, see if anybody's, you know, accidentally killed himself, we take some, if the day walkers go, or the night walkers, sorry, we'll get our own, he dropped the, the coin down, he was like, look, mate, grab it, alive, don't grab it, you're dead, that girl took it, he was like, nah, mate, I pointed you out, you're disloyal, mate, I want the people that I know that I can rely on, who's going to be part of my team, snapped, mate, took that guy, put him in the car, now, Klaus, like I was saying, he always got a plan B. Every time he's got a plan, so you think that he's not working to get Elijah, and you think that he's not doing this. Well, he has. He's always got it. And it's just, as I was saying it before, he makes you think he has never actually failed in a plan that he's actually tried to do. And um, like he's always got a second chance. So if you're going to trust somebody, if you want protection, if you want to follow a plan and execute it properly, you pick him. Yeah, I do disagree with, obviously, stabbing Elijah. And the amount of times that <laughs> he's gone after his family in the past. But this time he needs to stick by. He needs to stick by Rebecca. He needs to be Haley. I want Haley to be in it. I don't want her to be a little 
bit part character on the side who's just carrying Klaus's baby and that's the purpose of her you know like oh I'm here pregnant and they're trying to save her as well I want her to have that kid yeah maybe that kid can grow up rival um the witch because she is powerful mate she's only 16 she um has wiped um Rebecca's memory she was saying that he, she's stronger than uh than the originals she's got a weapon that's stronger than the originals reminds me of Silas in a way he's the only person that ever affected Klaus in any sort of way in the Vampire Diaries he's getting in his head making him see things making him feel things people wasn't there and that is the vibes that this girl's giving out um I'm not saying that the shows are going to cross over in terms of that context but uh, Marcel, he wants to use her to kill Elijah. Obviously, Elijah's there in the room. I'm hoping that he doesn't die. I'll be full on devastated. I'm going with he's not going to die. I think that he's too good to box off. But again, man, he's just another episode ticked down where he's not playing part. I think I, I want him to be in it as much as Klaus. I think they're great. They were both together. They could be the Stefan and Damon of the shoulder bromance. Like, Marcel, though, built from the ground up. He was, uh, he was getting abused as a kid. Um because he was different to everybody klaus has seen that as well he was getting abused off his dad because he was different decided to take him under his wing killed the guy took him in taught him teach him how to fight brought him up marcel knew that they are vampires and he was asking mate are you, are you ever going to turn me he said look i'm going to turn you when the time is right he started getting closer to um to rebecca as he was growing up Klaus got in the way, he said, look, never get with Rebecca, that is the one thing, if you do, I'll kill you, you're never getting turned, well, turns out, love strong, and he was, he just went for it anyway, he's like, if I die, if we go after this, and he catches me, I die, at least I die with a smile on my face, Klaus did see him, said, look, I am actually not going to turn you, but boom, mate, he stabbed her, you should know better, Rebecca, and daggered her, and that is where their connection, obviously, um, lost, because then, she was daggered for 52 years, he come over, he turned him and then that is that is pretty much it so she must have some sort of like what do you say not agenda some sort of um thing where she's disappointed in him and she can't let that go and that is her mental mindset every time it comes to to marcel now but i think that possibly if they're both in the show for the long game then they would be an actual good dominant couple interesting i know i'm talking about couples again when i was saying it's about uh family and fighting and taking back what shows we still gotta have a little bit of love in there as well so i'm enjoying uh this series it is very uh very interesting good different storylines i want to know what's going on this little witch as well is fascinating me. absolutely powerful do love those as well thanks for clicking my video if you did enjoy it please smash the like and the button it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new thanks for clicking my video and as always i'll catch you in the next one cheers guys